Hey guys, this is my 1989 Porsche Carrera 911 and I opened up the sunroof the other day, however it won't close. So I got the manual out and learned how I can uh, get this closed. It seems it's jammed, the motor's running fine, um, but it seems to be off track. It's not cocked in any way, I'll show you that but it seems, uh, seems jammed. So, um, I got the manual out and I reviewed the manual and supposedly there is a crank somewhere back here. There's a zipper in the headliner so you can crank this closed. Believe it or not, I searched YouTube for a video and I couldn't find one. So this will be great for other people uh, to help them who run into this problem. But if you have the manual to this car, uh, you should have no issue understanding how to fix the top. And I'm hoping I can close it. Should be able to close it. But I don't know what's wrong with the mechanism. And some discovery is going to have to be done there. Uh, and we'll check it out. So let's get started. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you some tools that you're going to need. Which are important to do this project. Obviously to get in the headliner is not a big deal but you need these tools you got to have a, uh, a flashlight very important to have a flashlight otherwise you're not going to be able to see up there it's going to be very tough um, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver and you're going to need a number two phillips screwdriver those lengths that are here work very well the manual page 50 tells you how to do this and then obviously the crank you have to locate your crank you might have it stored away somewhere in your glove compartment in the doors these cars have little glove compartments in the doors and there it is it was hat coming out in there I saw it one time but I never you know bothered with it but this part is one of the most important parts for you to be able to crank that sunroof closed without it you're not doing it so this is my 1989 Porsche Carrera this is a narrow body and here you can see the sunroof um, that is stuck open. I try to close it numerous times. It's not cocked in any way. They say if your sunroof is cocked and on an angle or skewed off, do not try to open or close it because you'll damage the paint. That's a tip for you should you have this type of car. My understanding is uh, you'll have to repaint your sunroof and roof possibly. Uh, to match the colors should that happen this car is uh, is thir has 37,000 miles on it it's in fabulous shape it is an anniversary model 25th anniversary of the Porsche Carrera and it is in mint condition as you can see here I love the whale on the back. Such a great car. This has 230 horsepower. Um, the car, you know, back in those days, it was a big deal. Now there's no problem getting 800, 700 horsepower in the car. I think you can get these cars today with 700, like 640, 650 horsepower. But you will see that this car is in mint condition, 31 years old, very clean car, and um, I'm enjoying it. Brings me back to cars and when I was a kid that I could never have. So, let's see here. We are going to go back here. I'm going to slide 
I'm going to slide the seat forward all the way up. Okay. And let's climb in and find the zipper that they're talking about. Look at that. So you can see right here, here's the zipper that goes along the headliner. And uh, you unzip it at. All right, so it's pretty tough for me to maneuver in here. It's a pretty tight car. And basically, I believe that crank is down, down here on the end. There's this cover, which is foam, which I'll try to maneuver this camera so you can see it. Not easy. So it's there's a cover. This whole cover has one. You can see it's Phillips head screwdrivers. One, two, three, three screws to take this cover off. And I think that's uh, the extent of it. The motor, I believe, or the crank. Yeah, it's all the way down here, the crank. So I have to, this is very tight quarters, just so you know. Um, it's going to be a challenge. So I'm going to take that off now. I'm going to have to put the camera down. I'm going to take this off. And then uh, I'll show you what I discover. So yeah, I uh, took the panel off. It's three screws. My car only had two screws, so that indicates to me that this has been off before as a problem. I'm the third owner of this car, so you can see the three screws. And on the opposite side, it has these clips. So it slides, it hooks, and then slides up and then you put the three you put the three screws in and locks it in place. I do see the crank up there. I didn't look to make sure that everything is there. I'm assuming it is. So I'm gonna go back in the car now. There's the motor for the uh for the sunroof as we can see there. Okay, so this right here has to come off. That screw comes off there. Right there. I'm pointing with the flashlight. That screw comes off and then it turns into a crank. And then we crank it. All right. Let me uh, get that screw off. Let me use the tool that they gave me, which is this flathead. I'm just supposed to take that off. Okay, that worked. All right, it's loose. On oh, there, very tight. So if you heard that, that broke. You can hear it snap. Whoever put it in there, put it in there very tight. So now I'm going to take the screw out. As you can see, you kind of need a couple of hands here for lights to be able to make sure that you don't lose anything. And there's a washer on there that you don't want to lose. And it's a little greasy. It seems to have graphite on it. Just so you know. Um, so I'm just going to put that up on the top there. Okay. Let's put the crank in. Let's see what happens. So the crank has a screw right on it. You need to screw it in that hole, according to what they say. So let's see what happens. I know that the... Uh, the filming here isn't the best, but I'm in very tight quarters. Trying to do the best I can for you guys. Probably hard to see with the lighting. It's 
hard to see for me too. Very honest with you. And you want to make sure that you don't cross thread this. If it stops right away, then yeah. And there's um, grooves that this locks into. So you have to turn it to find the grooves. Okay, you can see I have it locked in the groove there. If it doesn't lock in the groove, you're just gonna turn and not be tight and tight enough. So let's say, oh yeah, look at that. It's gonna close now. So there's the crank. You guys can see that. Just wanna make sure. I'm gonna move this around a little bit. Yeah, and there it goes. So I can close it and open it with no problem. Okay, you guys see that? Just want to make sure to try and put this in here so we get enough light. There we go. Okay, you see that? All right, now I'm going to show you the sky, the sunroof. Open and closing. There it is. I'm on the inside. I'm cranking it. So I can crank it either way with this. Of course, we're not going to leave it in there like this. I just want to get it closed at this point. Like so. So now you can see it's closed all the way. If I run to open it back up with the crank, I can. But I want to start the car next and see what's going on with this since I have it apart now. But I just want to see where we are. There seems to be a problem with this car though. We're going to have to get this fixed. All right, let me get out and get the car started. All right, we're going to do a little cold start here. It starts every time. 31 years old. 37,000 miles, I told you before. Amazing car. These things, they made them like tanks. All right. So over here, right here is the switch. If you have one, you know where it is. All right, it's not opening or closing. So something's up with the mechanism. I don't know what's up with it. We're gonna have to get it into the shop and see what's happening. But what's important is I successfully close the unit and that's what's important to me so I can take the car out listen to that it's beautiful air cooled no water these cars they were made the best so let's go put the roof back together Two, screw, two screwdrivers you need. You need a Phillips screwdriver with the number two Phillips. And you need a flathead screwdriver. And that's all you need. And I'm going to remove... I'm now going to remove the crank since it's locked in. There must be something wrong with the motor itself. It must be stripped, I don't know. Maybe I over, over cranked the motor. It's all possible. But I'm not opening that till I get it to the shop. Not much I will tell you. So I'm putting the screw, the flathead screw back in where the crank goes and this is the motor right here that operates. I'm going to turn this nice and tight. Okay, it's tight like it was. And then I have to go get the panel and put the panel back in. So I have the panel. I'm going to slide the panel back in. 
let's see. So these clips should be towards the back of the car. And then you're gonna have to align those holes, which is another discovery. And I only have two screws. I'm supposed to have three in here. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. When I bring it into the shop to see what's going on with the motor, I'll deal with it. But right now, let's get it back together. Okay, so this is easy too. They have three, three pieces of thin metal coming out for those clips to clip into, which is really well done. Just push it back, clips right in. And let's work on the screw. I got the first screw in. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm going to install the second screw. I hope this is coming out well for you guys to see. And that's the second screw. And these, you just want to snug them tight. Don't over tighten it. Okay. And there should be a third screw down here. But, and that would be a nice rattle that you probably hear. But we'll get that fixed. So here's a picture so you guys can see how it's done. Screws are in, hold on. And then I'll zip this closed. And that's the zip. <sighs> Zippered headliner. All right, let's go out and summarize all right guys just a recap give you some pointers uh, this was a pretty easy job it took about an hour I'm doing this for an hour now uh, I would say if you understand how to do this once you do it the first time this is a half hour project I can climb in here and fix this problem pretty quickly um, recap on my car with the sunroof issue. This issue uh, happened the other day. I was out driving it and I opened up the skylight with no problem or the sunroof with no problem. Um, I came home, parked it in the garage here as you see, and it wouldn't close. I hear the motor, but it wouldn't close. I think that there's a problem um, with the gears or something along those lines. So maybe the motor might have to get replaced. I'll worry about that when I bring it into the shop and have the shop look at it and fix it. Don't start the project unless you have this crank. You will go nowhere. This has a built-in screwdriver. You may have to use it. I used it because I couldn't do it with my hands. That, that screw was really tight. Very tight. So with that said, that's I unscrewed that screw, took it out, put it in a safe place, don't lose that screw, and uh, put the crank in, crank to close. And remember when you put this in that there are two snake eye uh, prongs sticking out here. You can see it, okay? Those snake eyes have to clip in up there, otherwise you're just going to spin, spin, spin and you're never going to get the job done. So you have to make sure that those two snake eyes go in. Once it's done, crank it closed, take this out, put the screw back in, put the cover back on, put those three screws in, and zip it closed, you're all done. You can bring it to the shop, have it fixed, have it looked at, see what's happening, or just do nothing. Totally up to you, just don't open the sunroof. Please subscribe, like, hit the bell so you get a, a notification when we have a new video out. Share my videos. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. We're out there also. 
we have giveaways normally um, thanks for watching let your friends know about this I'm gonna review this car also in a separate video um, it's one of my favorites this car and I'm thinking about outlawing it but so many people tell me don't touch it leave it alone it's all original I don't know maybe I'll get another one and just outlaw that one uh, it's in the air I have to figure that out yet all right have a great day thanks for watching